Our wallet is best experience with gamepad. God damn it, I didn't have a gamepad. I mean, actually, my brother do have one, but I just decided not to do one because I have to connect it all the way. So anyway, published by Annapurna Interactive. Uh, developed by Mobius Games. Yeah, I've done a little bit of research before playing this one. So here we are. Holy moly. Beautiful stars. Ukulele starts to play at the background too. Whoa. That's already an entrance on its own, I'm not gonna lie, holy hell. Hey, you know what? I, uh. I'm not gonna use a really fancy name, the one that you're currently knowing me as. I'm just gonna use this one. And, uh, wait a second. I don't have to. I guess I have to create a profile name. Alright, fine. Certain parts of Echoes of the Eye can be intense for some players if they become an obstacle to your enjoyment of other worlds. A reduced fright option is available in the gameplay menu. Interesting. Thank you for supporting other world adventures. A new museum exhibit is now available in the Village Observatory. I have no idea what it is, but holy hell. <laughs> wow. I'm just... I haven't even done an intro yet, and I'm already getting really chills with Andrew Prowlow's music. And this interesting menu. My god, the stars, man. Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and those who've been watching my videos, welcome aboard! We're playing, finally, we're playing Our Wilds. And that already includes the installation of Echoes of the Eye, which is the uh, <laughs> recent DLC that actually came out sometime either the beginning of... I think it's actually in 2021, yeah, right, that's the one. Oh, that's our dealership right there. Campfire, that's supposedly our character, I feel, probably. And some trees, too. Welcome, 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 everyone. So yeah, you know, Annapurna Interactive published a really good amount of games, uh, ma namely Stray for a recent upcoming, and then uh, Neon White, What Remains of Edith Finch, Flower. Uh, that's uh, uh, these those are the ones that I know the most. They've published epic, epic games. Not to reference on that one uh, particular company, but you know. What an atmosphere. Okay. As usual, I'm going to explain what our world is, uh, according to my knowledge, I mean. Uh, basically, it's going to be an action adventure game. About us going between planets, I believe, and I don't exactly know what we're going to deal with after that. Uh, I'm actually really excited to see what's up in this one, but. Uh, yeah, before I actually start, um, yeah, I'm just using my casual keyboard and mouse setup. And as usual, I prefer to play the game without full screen mode. Keeping that one up. And then also with uh, 1870. Uh, anti alias will be high enough, I think. Uh, quality anti aliasing. Post processing if I cargo quality is more expensive. Texture quality, I'm gonna give it a quarter. Uh, shadow quality should be medium, even though I'm at the I think low to medium laptop graphics. Uh, the one I'm currently using, I just feel like I want to use at best just all medium and stuff. Uh, fishing, fishing, uh, prevent screen tearing. By synchronizing the game's frame rate. Hmm. You know, I, I'm gonna give it that away. I don't know about the feel of you, man. I do tend to have a bit of a weakness when it comes to me playing first person games. I think I get really dizzy at the end of the episodes or something. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to adjust this eventually, but I'm gonna have to uh, keep it this way for now. Uh, tittering. Tittering. What do you do for tittering again? A color branding. 
may make compressed video of game request. Hmm. Okay, I'll keep it this way then. I'll keep it that way. Uh. Okay, I I'll keep the anti-aliasing. Uh, high, I believe. Rendering cost is high. Interesting. They have this uh, rendering cost. Uh, side before starting the game, so like it's an interesting addition on its own for sure. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll leave the menu now and see what's up. Okay, I think that works. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna have to just uh, add the new game capture. <laughs> oh man, it's about hacking time. All right, all right, all right. Oh god, oh god. I'm so glad that it finally made it. Let's get onto this thing. It took me a damn while to finally fix the black screen mode, so here we go. New expedition. Oh yeah, here we are. So how are we going to start here? Ah, immediately the wake up button. Hello. We are somewhere. Oh, okay. Hello there. Oh god, okay. This is going to kill my freaking system. For one reason or another, and it's for a damn good reason for, for its own, am I right? Alright, doing a little bit of an uh, option setting. Uh, basically, I did it in this much of a setup that I'm trying right now. Uh, I think the lower the better, at least for my laptop, that is. Let's see what's up. Oh, now it gets clearer. Hey, how you doing? Wow, that's hella beautiful. Okay, so we're in the middle of forest, or so what I can tell you about. So what can we do here? Oh hey, we have a body. That's our sleeping bag, and some symbols down there. Okay, jump is for space button. Oh. I think the longer we press the space, the higher we jump, I guess? I think that's what I I can assume about, but uh, apparently we can jump and such. So, campfires. Oh, we can roast my marshmallow. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, we can extend with the left shift button. Oh, oops. That's probably too much. Do I want to toss it? Do I want to, do I want to eat it? Let's eat it. Interesting. Oh, hello! Oops. That's that. Hey, who the frick are you? It's late. There's our pallet back from your pre launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, living on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all filled up and ready to go. Ooh. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? <laughs> okay, hold on. This is beautiful, but freaking hell. I probably gonna have to reduce the volume a bit. There's just gonna be a lot of adjustments in the first episode. Holy frick me. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? Retro rockets, I think. Should be the case. There was only one problem, a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but 
Hey, Norris is a twelve on the pass, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. <laughs> the launch codes. Okie dokie. Oh wow! Oh my god. So it updates. The sky updates and this is just gets interesting. Not every second thoughts, are you? Where are the launch codes again? Uh What's my mission once I'm in space? Hornfells has the launch codes should be up at the observatory. Wait, how do I spell this again? Observatory? Observ observatory, yeah. Like usual. I'm starting to think they left there. Okay. Wait. How's the ship looking? Great! Hey, you might get a kick out of this. I've repurposed the spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. Is that safe? <laughs> Probably! <laughs> That's a really good answer, my dear friend. Wait. What should I do before the liftoff? If you had a good place to say, we're the same now. I think your friend Hal is in the observatory. Observatory, wait. Am I saying this right? I'm, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a second dub there. But it's see you off. Oh, and Gosson says they have the synergy chamber set up if you want a refresher on making ship repairs in space. Not saying you have to, but uh, he'll help get Gosson off my back if you did. Alright. Oh yeah, that's the one that requires long but okay. Alright, 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 right. Guess we're going somewhere. I mean, it doesn't update, it just sickles really fast. Of course, it's not updated by time or something, but let's get off to stuff. Lounge tower. <laughs> would be interesting to see what's up if I were to stay here for so damn long. Oh, there's someone there. Hey. Wow. So, it's lunch day, huh? Hell's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform the ship's launch from it from is getting old. Isn't it about time you build a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. <laughs> the launch is flammable? <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's helped for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Yeah, right. And it's night time again. But no, I just saying it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down. You know, specifically me. <laughs> Isn't this just. Yeah, this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Oh yeah, I should really went up to that later. Otherworld Ventures presents boxcards from orbit. Oh, satellite camera. Hello! This is linked to our Sky Shadow satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Heart. Satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Ooh. Wait, we refuse snapshot? Oh dear, that's fascinating. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Forward snapshot, the rear view that I was feeling. Very fascinating. I think I don't have necessity in that for now. Oh, there's someone here. That's rutile. We were actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explore as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. 
Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. <laughs> By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Retro rockets. To wonder. Huh. It's more often the nighttime here than anywhere else, I suppose. Hello? I would need those ar armors if I want to. Other wilds, other wilds, other wilds. Oh! There goes me. I'm going down. Alright. Man. Oh, hey! Hello there, Space Cadet. I heard you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instru instruments, won't you? Tell me about travelers' instruments. Oh sure, I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see, there's church drums, Rubik's banjo, and Gabriel's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire, oh no. Anyway, you hear music in space, they'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down? What the hell? Interesting. Trouble is, every time a Harshan leaves for outer space, that's one less musician in our orchestra. So, did you need something? Where's the observatory? It's questions like that what make us worry about you going up in space on your own, you know. The observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the Zero G cave. Behind the waterfall, okay. Couple of signs. Just keep going up, hook a right. Okay. Thank you. That was really appreciated. I don't think I can enter. <laughs> I mean, that's to be expected. Oh, here it is. Jesus. I'm blind as frick. Ooh. Here it is. Holy moly. Tefra. Hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine's one let us let us borrow the cinescope before because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. <laughs> hey, hey, can we use your cinescope? Can we? Can we, please? We'll even let you be it. Uh, sorry, can't today. Oh, really? But we can't play without a cinescope. Play with us later, okay? I, we will. No worries. Galena. Oh, not much words. Just me and you, window. No, just win, actually. Not gonna lie. I wonder, I think there's something somewhere else that I'm still missing it, but before I go to observatory. Yeah, there you go, observatory. Oh my god. I think this game's gonna be challenging for my. For my tongue, because frick me. Also, space time, you gotta be serious. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, what will happen if I were. Uh, ooh, boy. Whoa! Oh, where was I going? Oh, God. Oh! Crap. I mean, obviously. Obviously. You are dead. <laughs> oh, freaking fiercely. What was I expecting? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the credit also rolls. That's just my god. <laughs> yeah, Andrew Prolo right there. Okay, okay. Oh god. Okay. No, yeah, the credits, man. <laughs> what have I done? Why do I do that? All right. Hello. Guess we're back at it again. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm ready if you are. 
Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready! It's finally time to test the new landing Hydrolux with a pilot instead of a, the autoflag system. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down here. Oh god. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Horvels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Where's my mission once I'm in space? Hey, you're the pilot, you tell me. Aren't you pilot types all eager to get up there and explore for yourselves? Doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow or just the other side of Timberheart. It's all the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Just don't hurt the ship, that's all I ask. <laughs> One day. Is that enough? I don't know. That should be enough. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that just ever. Maybe next time. Okay, okay, okay. We really should go somewhere, man. Oh, hello! Fly a model ship. Hello, if it is a Mika. Hey, it's you! Slight said you're blasting off in the ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go to space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind! Hey, I'm still going. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the colors. Uh, colors. Jesus Christ. It's controls, you bastard. Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start fire. Try to land on one of the chaser poles. Show me what you got. Oh, that's where that's what the chaser pulls is meant to do. <laughs> oh, not killing us apart or something. Either way, we should try. Horizontal thrust with WASD, I believe. Down thrust and up thrust is with control and shift. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Ooh, this gets crazy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, oops. I, I kinda. Oh, well. Crap, 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 crap. And I, I, I just suppose I. I, I just suppose I have to do it. Oh god, oh god. Oh. That's what I'm doing, I believe. That's the one. That's interesting. So like, where should I supposed to do it again? Around the chaser poles? Oh! I kinda blew it! I kinda blew it! Maybe I don't, maybe I won't. Uh, oh god. Wow, I'm the best professional. Okay, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Back tester, back tester, there you go. Yeah, yeah, oh god. <laughs> oh man, imagine doing that in space! Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that! Oh boy! It's totally not causing the fire, eh? Okay, yeah. Uh, I blew it so badly. What should I do again? Wow, that was just like the time the extra fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll, you'll be okay if find a big one, right? <laughs> D don't worry. 
Oh, hopefully I'm... <laughs> I'm... Not good at this. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Stay there. Oh boy. That's not the freaking thing. Ooh. Ah, Christ! That's not the one. Come on. I forgot what my objective is. Can you please retell what I'm supposed to do here? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, bastard! That's a big one. You gotta be serious about this. Come on. Holy hell. Okay, nope. I'm way too impatient for that. Oh dear. I really suck at that, apparently. There is so much to explore, though, by the way. Hello. Puffy. Hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let you, me, and Kusan open a bottle of the good stuff. Good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious, sap wine, and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron storm is the mark of a true harsh my friend. A hardy hunter gatherer lifestyle stands from trial and error. By which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, the arsenal returns. Tell me, what can I do for you? Any new dirt? I'm hoping to teach Exca to tap trees next time they return from the Ads Rock. If they'll bring me Lunar Sap, I can attempt the Moonwine. What are you up to? I've just finished sealing up another batch of Sap Wine for aging. I have to begin aging a batch on the day of a significant occasion, you know? That's why there are so many bottles labeled STRUCTURAL COLLAPSE AND HOURS <laughs> FIRE! <laughs> oh no... <laughs> oh, Poppy, you silly goose! Oh, what? I'm not pressing anything, I'm just... Pressing for... Not doing anything. Okay, we're not going there. That one screwed us last time. Not getting screwed again big time later. They really don't explore this often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Mika's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Hey, what can I do for you? Are you going to watch the lounge? Of course! I'll be watching from a safe distance, obviously, and mostly to make sure nothing catches fire, but watching nonetheless. Do you really worry that the Sabias program will burn the village down? Only constantly. You learn to live with it. You also learn to sleep with a bucket of water next to your bed just in case. Okay. That's really, really useful. This is so accurate! Holy hell! Oh, oops. That's the chaser stuff. Oh yeah, that looks like an arrow place indeed. Very interesting. That's the sun and such. Alright, we gotta go. There's the sun again and such. The between the village will be a perfect choice. I'll not helping out the space program just saves. The world. The current launch pad is fine, thanks. Oh, really? Dang. Well, maybe someone needs a new port or something. A big one. The big one. The big one. The big one! <laughs> Jesus. Chaotic bastard. 
yeah, I think we'll be fine. Hey. Take care of yourself in space. That's the observatory. I still feel like I want to practice. Uh, Mika's launching pad or something. I kinda want to make it successful. <laughs> You'll be okay playing the big one, right? I hope so. Oh boy! No! Ow! Wait. Okay. That should be the one. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah! There you go up in space, baby! I assume you can do something with that, about it, of course. And not getting hit by that rock there. Oh my god, where are we going? Holy crap. We can just, like, um, make it way up there and not getting complained or something? Uh, where is it going, by the way? I didn't press any shift button or something. I kind of hope it makes it just fine. Oh god. Where is it? Uh, I can't see anything, by the way. I, uh, oh, where is it? Uh, I really cannot see stuff. <laughs> what have I done? That was hilarious. Re-entry, oh god. <laughs> Woo! Okay, nope, not touching that. Maybe just gonna be a little bit upper and uh, not gonna see it anytime soon. I expect we'll be fine, of course. I'm still pressing the shift button, by the way. I don't know if we're gonna crash that one, but maybe we will. I don't know. Okay, Let's, uh, press the control, press the control. Oh, uh, that looks bad, actually. Oh god. What the hell? Uh, I think I'm losing it. Okay. Maybe next time. See ya, Mika. I have a feeling I prefer to really have to launch before something hits me. So really I have one of those bad feelings and such. Especially with this flamey stuff. Hello, Serena. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine wouldn't let us borrow the signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, can we use your signal scope? Sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Kellen and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be born wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Okay. What is this thing? Hello. Interesting. It has like its own frequency. I love it. Uh, what the? Ooh, that's what the signal scope is for. Can I do anything else with the thing? No? Oh! Okay, so what should I do with this thing again? Okay, it's, this is not too dangerous, is it? Okay. Oh yeah, we'll find. Hello. Oh, you found me? But my hand is supposed to be super good. 
Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Okay. So you and the other lady, isn't it? Okay. So... Oh, hello. Oh, this is fun. Oh. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Where's the other? What the? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, how do I get up there? With the chaser thing? I don't think so. Like, oh. I'm getting a little bit red there. Wow. Oh, the locks. Hello. Uh, Tephra. Wait, where can I... Oh boy, I'm really out of not screwing myself or... Going around. Oh yeah, okay. Hello. Found you. I won? I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. With such a good... Wow. That's the signal scope. Wow. So I think you can detect radio signals. And Whoa, okay. I Definitely her harmonica there. Whose harmonica is it again? Oh my god. Dude, there's legitimately someone there. Oh my god. What the hell? Yep, this signal is going to be super helpful for my adventure. Hopefully I'm not screwing up big time and I fly later. I'm a dependent pilot and I know what I'm doing. Absolutely. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little bit here without you around to lend a hand. That big water blind planet, giant steep. That's where I'll go. What's that? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabriel told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves that couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess, too dark. Gabriel wanted to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabriel couldn't go any further. I just said to as boring this would be. That would be suspectful. Jesus. Yeah, I chance there was a current you can't pass through. Okay, you know what? Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabriel go any deeper. It held Gabriel's back, almost as if it were trying to protect him from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabriel saw it. The tentacles of some hideous speed. Or this have when involved during Gabriel's campfire story. Come to think of it, don't you have somewhere you should be exploring that isn't here? <laughs> oh man. See the response. Holy hell. Oh my god, that's the campfire that I want to visit there. Yep. That's the one from the main menu, folks. <laughs> Zero G cave there. Hello. You can go away now, so I mean you were done scaring off all the fish. <laughs> Sorry. Kinda didn't mean to honestly. Alright. Going up, up, up anyway. Other wild ventures. Yeah, I don't know about that one though. But I definitely heard Monica. 
more chases. Ooh. We're going all the way here. That's the zero G cave. Here it is. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get hella distracted a lot. Activate live. Okay. That's Kosan! Oh! Where's your other rider? I feel really bad for you then. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Right, like you were nervous for your first flight. Are you kidding? I'm a natural at this! Is that so? <laughs> Funny, I seem to recall the first time we strapped on the jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater. You're this sad <laughs> So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't, so as to, so long as you're confident you can make shift repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up! Cool, get to it, and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Oh, well, I think I will. Oh boy, excitement, excitement awaits. I wish I can see what's up with me and mommy or... I'm definitely not human for sure, but this is quite a... Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is fresh like. Oh, no! No! I... Oh my god. Uh... I said I'm definitely heading the wrong way around. Okay. Okay, let's go back down. Holy hell. Didn't need to take that long. Alright, alright, alright. It's like such a pre mid sky, too. <gasps> Ooh. Dude. We feel flying in space, boy! Oh god. Oh. Ah, uh, so how do we fix the satellite? What satellite are we talking about here again? Ooh. Oh, here it is. Here is, uh... Oh. Alright, let's suit up. Ooh. Alright. Oh boy. Okay. This is fascinating. Really love this suit. Zero, zero G stuff here. Hello. Hey, hey! Nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero, zero G time in. So you're going in there? In the cave? Hmm. No, I'm, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know, I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. <sighs> now I got my hands wet. Sorry. Hey, you back. You need something? Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it. Take this some... Tectite. Ah, uh, it's supposed to be tectite. Tectite saw something crashed outside the village crater, crater earlier. That's new and different. Is anything on fire? Probably only a little, little. Tectite checked out the crash site while with the old firewatch scout launcher and saw smoke, so they headed over to stem out and left for, for fires. Well, I better get back to work. This one's not going to find itself, you know. Okay, okay. Off you go, my friend. This is deep stuff. I'm kinda scared. Is there any way to recharge the fuel? Mm, makes me wonder there. Although I wonder... I wanna see what's up there first. Whoa! Okay. Whoa, boy. Whoa! Oh god. Right, 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 right. With this suit, I can fly around. But I definitely want to be careful, for sure. Okay. Anyway! Long down ahead. Incoming. Better not screw ourselves dead, right? Oh boy. Wait, no! Right, right, 
This works, this works, this works. Oh god, oh god, ow. Oh. Crud. This is interesting. Well, well, well. Oh, that's an absolute zero gravity. Better really have to get down with our. Oh god, wait, 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 what? Oh dear me. That's, uh, that's going to be a deep fall there. Do I really want to go there? I don't know, man. That doesn't look safe. I'm actually scared. That looks like an absolute. Uh. Hell. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh god. Oof. Oh god. Whoa! 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 This is not supposed to be what I'm doing. Oh boy. Okay. Oh god. Absolute zero gravity. This is scary. My hand's sweating. Thank you. Uh. You could, uh. What can I do with this one? What can roll stuff? Okay. Oh boy. That's one. Uh, is there another thing? Oh god. Ooh, that's going to. Oh boy. Okay, there's the other one. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that's two. Gotta fix the other one. Oh, I sure it's where is it there? Oh, I think it's gonna be the other size, isn't it? Oh boy, this is not gonna be good. I heard it. I heard it somewhere. Oh boy. Where is it? I'm gonna go hella dizzy for this. I heard the noise, where is it though? Is that my right side? Oh, then. Whoop, whoop. Oh, see, I was at the downside there. Hold on. Uh, downs control. Oh boy. There it is. Oh god. Oof. Wow. So that's what I'm supposed to do, eh? Except the later is gonna be much harder. I better not not to get uh, really, really get sucked out of it or something. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Oof. Am I supposed to go back again? Is this the one? Okay, this must be this one. Okay. What a way. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, wow. 
My hands freaking sweaty. <laughs> that is that is interesting. Really interesting experiment. I mean, training more like it. Hello, I'm back. Guess where I'm going today? Oh no, 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 no! You want to run out into space? That's your business, but don't make me, you know, think about it. Better now we got this weird cave down here. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, sorry, I kind of disrupted your cave. Cave digging there. Oh, no, 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 no way. Ugh. Sorry, I'll stop. I'm just gonna take about flat, motionless rocks for a while. <laughs> oh, jeez. I feel bad for you, my dude. Okay, I guess, uh, that's it, eh? Not much to be seen around here. Just have that practice. That uh, nice practice will go. Okie dokie. That was a nice one. Nice albeit very very intriguing. Alright. Very interesting. Hey, I'm back! Nicely done! Of course, it'll be a little more stressful while you're hurling through space, but just remember you're training, just remember you're training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch code from the observatory and get out of here already. Base of luck out there, and hey, try to forget yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training, you got it? Ah, uh, hopefully. Hopefully we will find ourselves each other. Eventually. Well. So much for that. And uh, I think I'm gonna definitely wrap this one for this episode for sure. Beautiful atmosphere. I kinda have to play this game in uh, such low quality of course, thanks to my current... What's the word? Uh, current graphic condition and such. But yeah. This signal scope is interesting, and I really like it. Hello, that's the one with the ukulele. Yeah, is that one dude getting stranded there, waiting to be picked out? I think. Yep, we're gonna have to face it there soon enough. That was interesting. Cheers for watching, folks. Uh, until next episode. I think this one saves automatically, isn't it? I believe so.